Today we're gonna to go through a few use cases how a user can use CreoView eCAD to solve some problems, real world problems. So we start out by looking at um, our schematic printed circuit board layout in our 3D model all in a single view. And we're looking at this particular transistor here, Q9. And we, we've, we've had a fault on our lab test environment and we, we're looking at now all the pins on this component and you see it cross-selecting between the two views very nicely. And we have identified exactly which pin we want to we want to look at. It's the, uh, the gate pin on this. Okay. Now we've uh, selected the net so we can see where the net is. And from that net, we'll find the actual test point of where we can get our test probe onto that net. Okay. So being an electrical engineer, we're very familiar with the schematic. That's why we were looking at the schematic here. Now that we've found out where the net is on the PCB, we can close that schematic view because we don't really need that anymore. We can stick with the physical views of both the 3D and the PCB layout. So poking around, we were able to find you know, where that test point is. Now we want to find exactly where that test point would be inside of the 3D view. Now it doesn't exact actually exist as an object in the 3D view, so we grab a few components and triangulate where it will be from those components. And you can see on the screen, it's about in this location right here, but there's a very large heatsink in the way, and the lip on that heatsink comes over, and it's going to be hard for us to get our test probe down in there. So we go back to the layout and we check out, is there another test point on this net that we could possibly uh, use to get our test probe onto this thing? And sure enough, there's one uh, right here on the bottom layer. So we flip the board around. So now that we're looking at the bottom layer on the board on the screen, um, just like we would have it on the test bench. And again, we do the triangulation of grabbing a few components and the cross selection is going to show you where those components are inside of the 3D model view. So we, again, we find out um, where they are. We change our view to show the back of the board so you can see a nice side by side so it looks the same. And now you have an idea of exactly where you're, um, where you're going to be looking for. And we'll create a markup in that location to say here's where this particular test point is. And now we can bring that to the lab and then say, all right, that's where we put our probe. Now, we could also save this as an annotation set to be sent to other users or just saved off for, for um, ourselves at a later time. Okay, so that pretty much ends this, uh, this first demonstration. The next one, we're going to be looking at the memory component and the GPU chip and seeing all the nets going between these two components. To do that, we start off by just isolating those two components. Now you didn't need to isolate them, but just highlighting again how you can use the isolate feature to um, really make a single component stand out in the design very easily. Now we turn on all of the nets um, coming off the pins in that component. Then we turn off the ground signal and the voltage signal because it kind of clutters the design a little bit and we're really focusing on the, the high speed nets in this um, particular instance. So you can see everything's all nice and isolated now. And we zoom in to a serpentine um, pair down here. We go ahead and we query it. So when we query it, you can get all the information about you know, the, the length, the properties on those nets. And what we really wanna do now is do a measurement to see what is the minimum gap distance between these two nets. So that's what we're looking for, just to make sure that um, this actually meets the criteria we were looking for. So because we already have them selected, when we select the minimum gap measurement, uh, we didn't have to click any additional buttons. It shows us right here where the, the distance is the closest between the pin and the via on our graphics chip. Okay, so the next one, we're gonna do some searching for all of the clock signals in this particular design. We wanna see where everything asterisk, CLK, asterisk exists. We do that, here's our list. We go ahead and select them all. And again, we can isolate them so you can see exactly where they are in the design. Now that we've isolated them, we zoom in, okay, do a just drag a window, select them both, and we can query them and look at the properties on them. And we can see that this is in fact a differential pair. And there's a specific property that lists it as a differential pair. Now just to show you that you can actually do some searching by property names, 
we are going to search for, to see if there's any other nets in this design that are using that same differential pair property, because that would be a problem. Um, whether that's a realistic case or not, we're basically just showing you the fact that you can in fact search by properties uh, throughout the entire design like this. And sure enough, these are the only two nets that come up that have that particular property. Creo View eCAD can help your enterprise take the design data that's stuck inside of your CAD engineering groups and enable users in the enterprise, your test engineers, your electrical engineers, access to that data to help the design go from CAD to a real product. For more information, please visit the product pages on ptc.com. Thank you.